everybody and welcome back to Theme Park Hosting and a very exciting vlog over here on the channel because as you can see right behind me today we're over here at Portons Park for a very special event. I'll let Anton about it a little bit in a sec but honestly it is going to be an amazing day. We're going to share everything with you guys as we head into the park, experience all the rides it has to offer and then it gets towards the evening experience this very awesome event. So here we now make it into the park and a huge thank you to Porters Park for our complimentary tickets over here today. I think it's now time we talk about this event Adam, so what's going on? So the event I believe is called a theme park super van event um, and essentially we've got complimentary tickets and again thank you to Porters Park for that. It's so kind of them but yeah we basically get into the park for the whole day and towards the evening we're getting behind scenes tour we're going to get an insight into what they're also going into 25, a side disco, a buffet and so much more. Yeah, I'm going to put the itinerary up right now on the screen, but there is so much going on. And of course, right now it is around 10 o'clock when the park does open up. So we're going to get ahead of here. We're going to experience all the new rides, all the new attractions. And then, of course, we're going to head over towards the event as it gets on today. Yeah. Also, as well, it's also an opening day today of Special Yeah. Game, which is a miniature long film, which is quite cool to have done it on the same day as well. So, yeah, there's quite a lot going on today, and we look forward to taking you guys through all of it. Well, it is not only the log flume that's new over here, we've also got a little owl walk. Yeah, and we didn't actually come here last year, so this could have been for last year, but, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty new. Actually. Yeah, and there's some really funny owls down here. Awesome. <laughs> Once again, Portons Park does not disappoint. Splash Lagoon, their brand new log flume for 2024, is amazing. Literally, it is a children's log flume, but it is so much fun, it is so enjoyable. Once again, it is incredibly well themed. We're getting a bit lost right now as we're walking around, but that as an attraction, it blends with the land, it works perfectly, and it's just so good. Yeah, honestly, obviously it is a miniature log flume, so it's not gonna be too thrilling like the other log flume here at the park, but it's so much fun. The theming's amazing, as you said, and just the whole ride experience, the animatronics are great, and I'm not sure if they were some of the first animatronics in the UK, but they're definitely pretty cool, and just the whole ride, the whole experience is so much fun. Of course, Empty Day as well. Yeah, well, I tell you what, it may be the smaller log theme, but it is by far the better. Get rid of the other one, yeah. keep that one there. The theming, once again, is fantastic. There's not too much storytelling, but I mean, for UK Park, it's the best theme log theme ever possibly is. Yeah, and if you do want a bit of a backstory, it is actually the Dinosaur Company, um, I believe, and that obviously does include the like Mitch Dark right next door to it as well, which of course we'll experience later on. But no, it's a really good dark ride, and it's a really good water ride. Um, and I'd even go as far as saying, it's probably the best in the UK. Yeah, now I know we're going to talk about a lot in this video, but the direction that Portland Park is going in right now it is fantastic. To think that it wasn't many years ago, I think it really started off in 2017, 16 sort of time. It was like, well, Perfect was a little bit before, but then oh, was that, yeah. they started, it was really since Perfect, they went. Yeah, insane. I mean, it's so good. before I think you had all the little carnival sort of rides, and now you've got some of the best themed lands in the whole of the UK getting built. It is incredible. Yeehaw, and welcome to Tornado Springs. It's not a yee is it? <laughs> but anyway, we're now over here in Tornado Springs, one of the new lands. I mean, it's starting to feel a little bit old now, but a little tip from me, if you make your way into here, is basically, and that's quite obvious, go where people are. Now, at the start of the day, most people normally come here, but with this being an open endeavor, a new attraction, lots of people go and call it the orphan, or understandably, like we did, but then they normally stay over in the dinosaur area, experience the road attractions, and therefore, lands like this right now, as you can see, are completely empty. So if you go over here, jump around a little bit, find people on, go there, and basically do what people don't do in a day. So, that makes sense, Yeah, and as a general rule of thumb here, Portland's Park never really gets very busy. Like, we've been no. here countless times throughout the last 10 years, and it never really gets that busy. So, the longest we've ever seen Storm Chaser was about 20 minutes. So, and that's always the busiest right here. So, yeah. As a rule of thumb, it never gets too busy, but it's still worth doing a bit of a routine. Now, we always suggest, of course, getting here early, leaving later, but at the end of the day, no matter when you arrive, you're going to have a great day over here at Portland's Park and get everything done that you want to do. Literally a walk on queue. Look at this. Crazy. So, I just found out from Adam that later on today, when the special event is on, some of the rides are actually open. It's Storm Chaser. We're going to take it here. I think Cyclades Yeah. Pretty sure Wimble Towers and Buffalo Falls. Which is the one to find there. Yeah, which is a little like water ride. But yeah, no, I think there's quite a good lineup, and you do get a complimentary buffet as well. Exactly, there's going to be loads to show you guys later on. It's going to be absolutely awesome, and that's kind of why we're keeping this a little bit short right now. So, we'll show you a little showcase of our day, show you around what we're doing. Of course, show you what it's like if you're visiting the park normally, but later on, that's when the magic begins. Yeah. And for anyone who does not know, 
this is the other log flume, so it's been a bit of an upgrade, I think. Yeah, this is actually like a travelling log flume, so you'll find it a fun pair to like different amusement parts around the world. It's just a clone model, but I mean, it's a bit bigger. Really and when it opened, it was pretty good, but I mean, the theming here, not a lot, and hopefully soon, they'll get rid of this, they'll get rid of this area around here, and they'll make it like this area over here. Now in this area, amongst having some of the nicest bushes ever, I mean, look at these bushes here, not only have you got some really well themed ones just behind me, but also that side, they're just so well cut. Literally, they're like trimmed perfectly. There's a little area around the corner actually, where you can sit down for like picnics and stuff, and the bushes are lovely. Yeah, it's really nice. You just sit there as well, have a picnic next to all these lovely like cut bushes. They're yeah. really good actually, and it's, it's quite surreal to actually see them like so perfectly cut, because I know it sounds a bit weird, but you never really see that. Yeah, well, what was good of you though, is that even though it has all this lovely stuff, it will be really awesome down there earlier. Is it like a jungle themed area? Yeah. It worked really well with the dinosaur areas we're entering into right now. But also, if you like a jungle theme, the cobra works, magma, well magma is in the dinosaur area, but what's the other one? The uh, little spinning one we just cobra, did. Uh, cobra in the edge. Uh, the edge, yeah, the edge would work in there. And you know, it's like a motorbike coaster too, so yeah, I know. Like Joe Uvalen in Jurassic Summer Land in Denmark. Yeah. People have said there could be a clone of that, so that would be really cool and it would work with, as you said, Lost Kingdom. Yeah, because one of the big things over here is how the park blends. And of course, it's a lot harder when you've got some of the best themed areas ever, really. And then you have so really that vlog food. So it is getting better. But it's getting better. It's and if it's like a jungle thing, kind of feed it inwards with these caves, I think it looks really good. Oh Adam, it feels like we're back in the queue for Smilo again. Oh it's so similar. It's so similar. Apart from the theming, which is a lot better. And it's green as well. And it's green, exactly. Still the cages, but the cages work here because some awesome dinosaur animatronics, all of which, of course, Portland's Park are working. And at the end of it, you've got a really awesome ride. I think it's time for a quick fun fact. And the fun fact is that Dino Chase actually has the smallest lift tilt on any coaster in the world. Well, I think it is anyway. I mean, it's very, very small. And then right in the middle of the day, we've been allowed down here. How awesome is this? It's amazing. We're literally allowed over here, over at Cobra, having a look at the trains from over at the station. I mean, this is awesome. I'll show some clips. <laughs> I mean, looking at this is so awesome. We're down over here. You can hear the ride literally just behind us, testing over there. We're not testing, going. Yeah. It's just going, and it's the first time we've ever been allowed in one of these, so it's really awesome to have a look at this. We see everything from like the wheels over here, like look at that actual ride that you'll be sitting on. Well, you were sitting on like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, really yeah. Honestly, it's just such an awesome experience. I know, and we are just standing here. You see everything, I mean, it's just crazy. We're literally walking around, we're filming some off by footage, and they came out and said, and I've looked down here and it's before we've been out, actually meant to come down here later on and it just looks incredible. I mean, such an awesome experience. And to make it even cooler, that is car number one. I mean, I can't go over it. You've got all the little maintenance stuff. And I know for some people, you're probably watching this vlog right now and thinking, what the heck is this? I mean, literally you're standing down here in a maintenance shed, filming the train. I mean, you're not even on the rides, but being down here, we've been, yeah, no, we've been looking at this sort of stuff for years and then we've been seeing people go down and experience it and now it's our time to go and do it. It feels so amazing just to be able to stand on here and look at it all. And get all these photos. You can see everything from like the little hammers down there we used to fix the cars to even the seats just down there which you just literally missed totally. I mean, look at that. It is so, so cool. Um, and it'll give a time scale of roughly what's there. But this will also let um, app users know. Wow. Where do I begin to talk about that? Like, that was just insane. I've never had a theme park experience and it's similar to that before. Like, I've literally yeah, literally the first. I mean, <laughs> we're standing there, we're filming some off-ride videos and stuff, making some videos for the channel, of course, of whilst obviously doing the rides. And the guy came up to us and said, what are you doing? So I'm going to do off-ride. He's like, do not have a look over in the Cobra shed? Yeah, and I think and also, that we were coming to the event later this evening. Um, and as we mentioned earlier, as part of that event, you do, of course, get a behind-the-scenes tour, either Flight Terrace or Cobra or Flight... Um, Case, yeah, yeah, so we thought, well, why not, <laughs> obviously. So we went in there, we had a little look around, of course, you probably saw Kenry talking, if not, I'll show you that now. But I wanted to do a little bit quiet because they're still working in there, so we're doing bits and bobs, and people were talking, so I kind of wanted to keep the noise down a little Take bit, but I mean, it was amazing. Yeah, I mean, you know, there were three of us there, and it was such a private experience. And yeah. It was something I've always wanted to, we've never actually been in like, an operator's cabin, a maintenance shed, and just getting underneath the track, we were allowed to touch the track, we were allowed to get the wheels, we were allowed to go the operators, like cabin. It was just one of the best spaces I've ever had. And oh my god, like, 
I know you don't always see it at theme parks, but the engineers who work here, they do so much. Yeah, like, it's unreal when you actually hear like their stories and their experiences yeah, being like, at the park. Like, it's so interesting to listen to them all talking about what they did. And they're sort of people where you don't always see them, but this wouldn't be going if it wasn't for them. Yeah. I wasn't going to go if it wasn't for them. I've honestly got so much more appreciation for, of course, engineers, but the park itself now as well. Yeah. Like, this park it's is such a family atmosphere. Incredible. Yeah, they, keep, they kept saying they love working here. I mean, one of them was working for like 20 years, one of them was working I think, for like yeah. 8 or 10 and years. Someone started, but this started. His yeah. first job was to do Fly the Terrace, which is crazy, but he's done a really good job, and all of the team are. It was one of the best experiences I've ever had. It yeah, so. it was truly amazing. And I want to say one more time, thank you so much. Really yeah. appreciate it. One of the best days we've ever had over here. And we keep saying how amazing. We can know we said about a park, we can know how much more we prefer these parks and other parks, and the care for it, the theming, the atmosphere, the vibes. I mean, you can tell it's amazing because. Splash the goose with a 25 minute kick, and yeah. that's one of the new rides. I mean, it's, it's so popular. It. And of course, as well, like when the new ride on Mitch Henson River Art, which is a similar attraction to Mitch Lawfully, they got nowhere near a 25 minute queue. So they've done really well, and honestly, I've chosen much appreciation for them now. They're some of the kindest and nicest people down there. Yeah. They're, they're amazing. Yeah, really, really amazing. And of course, the work they do, I mean, I can't even put into words. So thank you very much. Thank it you. was awesome. Let's get on with our day, and hopefully, soon, when more experience is just like that. It's just the beginning, guys. And of course, after an amazing tour, Adam was to get a whip. Oh, honestly, the what Disney parks do these, so I thought I'll give it a go. Yeah, around five pounds, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean it's a little bit pricey, but you know what? It's we'll amazing. We'll see how it is. We've shown you guys the rides, a lot of the rides. We've shown you guys all the different stuff of the park, the food, the dough whip. How was it? It was great. It was just like the Disney park, amazing. And we've also shown you guys, well, behind the scenes. So. We've got a pretty awesome time so far. One thing we haven't shown you so far is the shop. And there's a reason for that because what you may not know is that whilst well, FPS is developing in the Fortnite Park, the merch is Norway. Well, you say and that. It's an they, they've got better. better. They have got better. And since we last went in 2022 in December, since they've been group merchandise, they've got new Pride Park. Awesome. It really um, is. So yeah. there's some cool bits here, but they're still in the process of developing it all. So we're going to move into the shop right now. You never know. I could be completely wrong right now. We're going to get in there. We'll be blown away, but the park's getting better, dramatically better. I don't think I've ever seen a park get better so quickly. Oh, it's amazing. So hopefully the shop will come on soon with a new merch out of that. And I know not everyone wants to get theme park merch, but when we go to a theme park, we want to get theme park merch and not merch which, well, you can buy elsewhere for a lot cheaper. So we'll have a look at the shop right now, see what it has to offer, and then we'll see you after that. As we continue our day very soon, hopefully, going over towards Tenaya Springs and going over the major shed. It hasn't changed too much since last time. Some cool bits down there, but the rest of it, still like the rest of it. But of course, it's still awesome to hit the park. And I think over in the future, we're going to have some new merch in. Yeah, I mean, they've got some new bits, like we've got a park, like a t shirt now, and there's a hoodie as well now. Um, but really, the only decent part, the only decent merchandise is still for Taylor Springs, which is great, but maybe they can come out and do some more areas, like possibly that big one. And I'm sure there's a lot of big merch anyway, but like actual branded stuff would be nice, but yeah, it's, it's quite And you'll remember as well, obviously we like it, but they know what we're doing here. We will eventually get around to it if it's meant to be popular, but if not, I guess it's not, but that's the thing. You never know, we make assessments, we make judgments of what we would like to see, but we're a very small minority of people who go to the park, so... Yeah, I mean, obviously, we would love to buy ride wheels, and I know you can here now, but previously, it may not have been worth it, because obviously, I know very few people would want to buy a dirty ride wheel from a yeah, exactly. old... The excitement we're going into the sheds today, most people will be like, what's one of that? Yeah, exactly. So, so, for us, it's just insane. Exactly. So, everyone's different, and that's the thing. We don't judgment, but we're never 100% sure. And as you can only imagine, next up, we are only here in the shades in the shed wow. for this right here. This is amazing. Well, at, literally, right. that's how we just were out there. And now this is down here. Wow. How awesome is this? Oh, amazing. I mean, look how awesome this is. You can see the train going right there. And that is a train underneath. This is so cool. I mean, what an experience. Thank you, Quantum Park, Thank so much. Thank you so much. And it's on the nicest people. It's so awesome. We're allowed down here. We can, it's all we can share with you guys. Incredible, really. And of course, after staying under there for like an hour, which is crazy but awesome. It is. Like, totally awesome. We thought, you know what? We have to do a ride itself now. So we're going to go on Storm Chaser. We literally did it before we went on that. And then now we're doing it after we went over to that. So we're going to head on there right now. 
experienced that, but it was so cool. Oh, honestly, Storm Chaser is such an important ride for me. I believe it was my 100th roller coaster as well. Um, to be able to go behind the scenes of that it was just incredible. I can't even explain how amazing that was. It was so unique and also it's a spinning coaster, so there's so many cars and boats and stuff. Yeah, it really, really is. I mean, again, seeing it all, experiencing it all, and now I think we're going to go above it right now. I'm going to ride when they're down there. Just crazy. It's going to be insane. We are actually going to lift up the train itself around 6, but the tours do start at 5.15. Yeah, so we're not sure so going to make it because... I think we may be part of a pterosaur. Yeah, because we've done the, obviously, Storm Gist today and Cobra. We're thinking possibly part of a pterosaur to do all three, but we'll see. But there's so many amazing YouTubers here who will all be documenting all of it, so if you want to see that after this video, go and check them out because we've still got way more to come. I mean, this is literally just the start. I keep saying it's the start. And it really is. The event hasn't even started Yeah, we've won today. We thought we were even doing this till we're now. And then we've already done it all. So, absolutely awesome. And once again, a welcome key. And back into the prehistoric world we go for a dinosaur adventure. And part of the reason why we're taking on this adventure, hello, is because earlier some of the people we were talking to talked about this ride with the vehicles and everything else that went on with it. So, we thought, as we do with rides in this area, including the new one, which again is based around this theming, we thought we'd give it a go. But honestly, guys, it's crazy to think about this land in the sense of that actually not a lot of it probably costs an awful lot of money. Like, all of these are just bushes and trees and stuff, and it works so well. I look at all of this and the new ride over there, it just works really well. We never know Smashing Moves was like new yeah, I mean literally they both look brand new, which is a compliment to this ride really. Yeah, but even the queue line, oh, it, it somehow works better than the original. Yeah. It's really crazy. Watch out where he sprays water, just then you know. Yeah, there we go, that's what he was talking about earlier. These tyres were spinning, they just literally stopped to the camera. But yeah, he basically brought them off eBay, put them in, and just adds to the overall experience. If it starts spinning again, let me know Adam, but look at that. Hello. Oh, the eye is a little bit broken on that one. <laughs> Awesome, mate. And then for our final ride of a normal person's day, or our normal trip, fly up a pterosaur. But as you guys know, there is a lot, lot more to come. Or maybe not, as the queue is a little bit too long, we do have to try getting over towards the main area around quarter past. It's yeah. currently like 50 past? It's 53. 53 so, so we've got a bit of time. We don't want to be too late because obviously it's fine to see something, so. Yeah, we want to, we want we want to drive early, early so. We, can go. we don't have to risk it at all, so we're going to instead. See you in a minute, queue, a lot shorter, and also a really fun ride. And now the time has come to head over towards the diner and start our awesome evening. Let's go. And then from one side to the next, here we now make our way round the helix. And different we've done this. Oh, it's so cool, honestly. All these rocks are like, obviously, it's really rocky. Yeah, well, it just feels so cool. It really is, yeah. <laughs> Making our way round the track, and I want a photo. <laughs> Once again, I don't think it's any surprise, it was amazing. It was so good, like, it was a bit busier this time, as expected. However, it was just such an incredible experience, like walking around and obviously all the rocks and everything. It was just, you fly by at such a fast speed. Yeah, it's like, it's one of those things well. where you do it, and you always take it for granted when you do it. And you get back home and you look at it again and you go, yeah. wow, that was really, really great. It was one of those things again. Like, we've had a few of those moments, and even when breakdown and rise and stuff, we got to evacuate yeah. it, like parts of Calvary, we did that. Want to like that yeah, you well. had some cool moments like that, but, being able to walk around there, spend your time experiencing it all. Yeah, it's usually, really nice. Usually when you break down, you can't take photos. Like on Dragon, I remember I couldn't take any photos, but here, obviously, you didn't break down. And it's just by these thoughts. You can say as many as you want. You sit in the trains, put the lap bars down. Ask some questions. Again, yeah, it wasn't that. like last where you could literally just have a 10 minute conversation with one of them. Yeah. But you don't spend it to. I mean, we were very fortunate last time to be able to almost stumble across that and experience it. But this time, you got to go and see all those different areas. You got to walk where you wouldn't have been able to walk last time because well, the ride testing. So I don't know hundreds of what they're doing all the other rides or whatever, but it'll be awesome to see oh, in the future what they did. Yeah, exactly. But now it is time to go back into the springs and do some rides, because I don't know if we told you earlier, but they're opening up the springs for us, it's awesome. Yeah, it's so cool. 
course, home towards the amazing Psychonator, which I'm sure I'm not going to do again. Oh, no, definitely not. Tornado Springs, I'm going to race, it's not Tornado Springs races, is it? What's it called? Storm Chaser. That's Go on, I've got my name. As well as many more rides, including Wimble Tower and soon to be the Buffet. Very excited for that. I'll peek in there in one second, but it's looking good. And on this hot, hot day, I think there's no better ride to head on than Buffalo Falls. Off we go, after the Storm Chaser, which is amazing. Well, we were busy doing the ride, so we noticed, I think the buffets are open a little bit early, so we're nipping out some food. Now, if you know me, you know that I love my food. Sitting in right now, I'm just seeing that buffet, which looks delicious. I'm trying to get good everything, so I'm going to review everything. Adam's got some bits that I don't like, like the donuts, stuff like that. So I can buy so everything on the menu, so we'll try it all, and we'll give you a food review, but it looks amazing. Food, tick, rise, tick, and had an amazing time so far. Oh, it's been so good. Most definitely ticked. <laughs> it has been absolutely amazing. Loved it to biz. When we started off today, the person in the operation, one of the rides, thought what it was, said, they're giving this a go. They've seen how the events do, see how the public takes to it, and see if they can do more just like this. And it looks like it's been really good. It's I mean, so good, yeah. Everyone's loving it, and yeah, everyone we've talked to just has really good reviews. I mean, so far today, I've been out like nothing, so <laughs> you've been like five pounds or something, so that's great. Oh, but so honestly, good, even though. if you have to pay for it, I'll do it. It is such a lovely park, such a lovely atmosphere, and as we're close right now towards where we're going to announce what's new to come to this amazing park, I was just going to say it's been really good fun. It's been amazing. And we're like, very thank grateful. Thank you so much. Yeah. Like, this is our first of the time we've um, come out to do like, an event like this. And it's been surreal. It's been incredible. Yeah, so we'll take a seat now. First time I've ever watched this show. <laughs> I mean, it's not what's watching the show. You're watching the thing that's on the stage. It's a nice but It's a nice theatre. I look forward to watching it. As we now sit down and we'll give you some clips as well as we go throughout. Want to get down? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <Wow>. Excellent. <laughs> Well, thank you all so much for coming to our Superfans event. We are really excited to have so many of you here in the park in 1983. Uh, started as a park in Bird Gardens and remained that way for a few years, adding a number of attractions. The other thing this scheme will have is also a battery storage system, so this yellow box up here, where all the, uh, the infrastructure goes back to. Goatley Manor. I know some of you have already found that we trademarked this name, so well done. Um, is, a, is our new ride for 2025, opening May next year. Dr. Kinley here, calling from the North Pole in pursuit of an elusive ice coast. My spectral security systems back at my manor have detected some unusual activity. So, uh, yeah, you can safely assume that uh, our next... Next ride of adventure... <laughs> will be somewhere that it isn't in this area of the park. Wow, what amazing announcements were just announced back then. I mean, it is incredible. It was amazing. And it was such a nice way we did it as well. We didn't just go, oh, we're going to get the biggest and the best of so newspapers and the big YouTubers over. We did it when there was like a nice level of YouTubers. I feel really enthusiastic about it. Maybe they haven't got a thousand subs or a million subs or whatever. But what they do have is a real passion for the rise. There were people in there from like 100 to 200 subscribers that we saw. Yeah. And like, it's so nice. I mean, we didn't have a lot either, so it's nice that they've invited everyone down and yeah, just made everyone that to experience. Well, I said this from day one all the time. I mean, this is the sort of place where they really do care about everyone. It's not just, they don't care about the press and everything like that. I've got a cool soundtrack on right now. Yeah, yeah. I think I was a little sneaky because you went out. But yeah, listen to that. I don't know if that was perfect or not. Oh. Yeah. Oh, spooky. <laughs> And if you just think it's sort of there, gets the thing. Anyway, we got a little bit distracted by that, but I imagine the people to come will also get distracted by that. So that's sad. But look at this empty street over here. It's amazing. It is awesome. And back to what I was saying about the event. It was fantastic. We weren't too far from the disco at the end, and also it was quite quiet. So it's not really our thing. Yeah, we were two hour drive back home. We thought, you know what? An hour. An hour, yeah, an hour. Oh. We're going to jump in the car right now. We're going to get back because we've got a busy day to come. Not in terms of theme parts, but just personal lives. We've got a lot going on in the next few days. So we're going to go right now, but it was amazing. The day, I mean, I hope you guys saw. I mean, I can't put into words right now what we feel like. I mean, it's one of those things where I get there to maybe tonight or tomorrow morning and I go, wow, how awesome was that? It was so cool. Like, it's, it's 
Yeah. Even though we want to do something with a little kid, literally. Yeah, it's insane. We, right. we want to do yeah. a sort of thing, and we've done three of them today. And yeah. more. And they're good rides as well. They've got a Storm Jets, Cobra, and of course, well, at the end, Fighter Terrace. All three are amazing rides anyway. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Loved it to be. It's in the announcements, the uh, people we met. I mean, truly fantastic experience. If you get a chance to go down one of these, do it. Yeah. It's great. Really is. It was so good. And honestly, thank you so much, Bourne's Park. Yeah, like, it's it huge is thank genuinely you. one of our favorite parts. We're not just saying this because we're invited to this event, but every time we go, you can check previous spots as well. We still say it's one of the best parts in the UK, yeah. if the best in the UK. It's just phenomenal. People are so friendly. And you really saw that today. Yeah, you really did. I mean, it's all day, but it is amazing. It was awesome. That is it for me, Tom Derek, and I'll see you for the next video. Bye bye, guys. <laughs> good time. The music ended as well.